It's a little personal for me because I was a young mother, but I know at that young age, you really face a lot of questions. You know, do I give up on my dreams? Do I give up on my career aspirations? Do I stop going to school? Today we're putting together our young mother's uh, Mother's Day baskets, things for the baby, things for the mom, between diapers, a little um, baby essential safety kit. My name is Rebecca Washington, Director of Business Planning for Tampa Electric. I have an organization, Soar First. We are a local nonprofit providing resources and opportunities to youth in our community. And we're just trying to keep them inspired and motivated to keep focusing on their goals and their education so they don't just give up. So a lot of the community activities that uh, Rebecca does is just amazing and indicative of who we are as a company. I am Bruce Napier, Senior Administrator Learning and Organizational Development here at Tampa Electric. I think it's inspiring because what we do at work and what we do outside of work should not be necessarily distinctive and separate. And that's who Rebecca is. She helps individuals within the company on a professional basis, on a personal basis, and replicates that as well outside. I, I had a job, right? <laughs> not necessarily a career, but I was working at a local retail store before I came here. I have grown up in Tampa Electric, really I have, you know, starting when I was 21 and as we all know those those years, you know, you grow a lot personally but definitely professionally. It's an amazing community here, how much people want to be engaged and help the community. I had a team member just this morning say, how can I get involved, what, what can I do? Most of the team members at Tampa Electric are probably involved in some way, form or fashion in the community. We work with the U.S. Office of Veteran Success, uh, McDell Air Force Base, Tampa Chamber of Commerce, U.S. Chamber of Commerce. We have back to school drives. The community is in constant need of volunteers. I'm sure of that. The magic is when an individual realizes that what they're doing for the community actually gives them just about as much as they're giving to the community. I had a young lady the other day that just ran up and hugged me and held me and I, I was just taken off guard. She held me and, you know, we just stayed there for a moment. And I could relate to some of the things she was probably trying to balance as a young mother. And then someone just saying, here's something I thought about you. When we do our outreach, it's the opportunity for me to be reminded there there's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot of need right here in our community. I remember I had been driving uh, home one night after working here for a couple of weeks. And I looked out toward the city and I realized we touch everybody. We provide not just a service, but we provide livelihood and life to every person that's here. And it made me realize that this is bigger than just a job. A lot of people can have a job. A lot of people can have a career. But this is serving a purpose that is direly needed with a group of individuals that truly care. Care about our families, care about our coworkers, care about the community, and want to make a difference.